Today, I'd like to continue um, showing you some interesting stuff from Japan. Um, I bought something that is very traditionally a May snack. Um, also, uh, I found some interesting um, chocolates that uh, I thought I'd introduce. So, here we go. I have my bag here. Um, first one, uh, it's called Kashiwa Mochi. And uh, this is very traditional uh, May, I think, um, Children's Day snack. Uh, Children's Day is May 5th. Uh, it's part of Golden Week here, um, which is like th four days of holiday and the beginning of May and the end of April. Um, so May 5th is Boys' Day. It used to be Boys' Day, now it's Children's Day. And this is the traditional snack for that. And I really like it, so I decided to get some and introduce it. What it is, is um, a mochi wrapped in a leaf, just like the sakura mochi for, for girls' day, um, except that this leaf you can't eat. It's not a cherry leaf. And it's only used to keep the, the um, rice cake moist. Um, this rice cake is made with a special kind of um, rice. Uh, it's different, it tastes different from the other ones. Joshinko um, and Kuzu Ko. So it has um, several different kinds of uh, rice powder in it. And it's very moist compared to the regular and uh, more chewable compared to the regular mochi. That's what it looks like. Quite a big leaf. They invented this um, in order to be able to eat mochi without, you know, the mochi getting all sticky and sticking to everything. So it's kind of like how um, rice cakes, rice balls were born as well. I got some rice balls with me today for lunch. I'll show them to you later. Um, they're called onigiri, but, um, and they're usually wrapped with seaweed. Uh, you can eat the seaweed. This leaf you can't eat. So here we are. Um, inside is bean paste, and I like the kind with the, um, bitsy bean paste, where you can actually have little bits of beans in it. Whereas um, there's a different kind of bean paste, which is um, sieved, like, so there's no little bits in it. It's just really smooth. Anyway, I don't really like the smooth stuff. So this is the bitsy stuff. Mm. The yummy thing about these is that you can kind of taste the leaf, and the leaf adds a little bit of flavor to it. Makes it special. Um, even though you can't really eat the leaf itself. So it's really good. Um, and it's easily chew chewable. Not like the daifuku that I showed before. Um, you can actually chew it off without it, you know, going like this. Mm. One of my favorite mochi. Don't eat the leaf. <laughs> okay, that was really good. Um, now, I want to introduce a few interesting things that I found at this store. They're not that um, rare. I think um, you would have mint flavored chocolate in your country as well. But, this is a chocolate bake. I think what they do is they actually cook, bake the chocolate. And you can buy the bake, this without the mint in it as well. But this one is a special kind. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's almost a rainy season or because it's almost summer. Maybe mint is a thing to eat. In summer, um, Japanese people are really 
into seasons as I showed you before. So uh, probably mint season. So we have all kinds of minty stuff at the stores. And I don't need many minty things, but sometimes I crave it. Right a little bit. So this mint bakes I like this. The chocolate is baked. It's a crunchy thing, obviously. And not like regular chocolate. So more like a cookie, except it's just chocolate. Mmm. Mmm, wow. Mmm. Just as it says, I mean, kind of melt in your mouth. Mmm. And that crunchy chocolate is really, really thin. So. Mmm. Good. Nice little um, thing for after dinner or whatever. Nice little dessert. So this is a Kikang Dente um, seasonal snack. Mint level three, whatever that means. Strong mint taste. I don't know. How many levels are there? So that's it. Okay. Next. This I was more interested in. I like these without the mint. Koeza chan. Okay. Chocolate mint version. Usually, um, you can get these chocolates without the mint, <laughs> just like with these. Um, and I like them because they have nuts in them. And I love chocolate with nuts. So this has nuts and mint. And this is also seasonal, only for the summer. And it says here that even people who haven't tried mint before should enjoy it too. So I don't know which mint, mint level this is. It's the same company, but they don't have mint level on it. Oh, mint level one. There we go. So this is a very low level mint. This is a very high level mint. So this shouldn't be too minty. Let's try it. Tiny packages of chocolates. Easy to give away and keep for other times. Just have a little snack with your chocolate or your coffee. And go. Mmm. I really like your chocolate. Mm. Maybe not nuts, but um, puffed rice, maybe. Maybe both. Almonds, yes. And cornflakes. So I was right. Both. Mm -hmm. Yummy. They look like little sticks, you see. And koeda is a little stick. So little sticks of chocolate. Mm. Very good. Mm. I can hardly... After that strong mint taste of the other one, I can't... It's hard to... Even taste the chocolate, uh, the mint on this one. 